I am Joanna and I am a member of the Faithful Remnant Church of these end times. For the viewers who are not familiar with this, this is the only true church based on the true Roman Catholic faith. Roman means revealed through Petrus Romanus. Catholic means universal and we are led by the last and true Pope of this era. Pope Peter the Last, also called Petrus Romanus. Anti-Pope Francis is the son of perdition, spoken of in the Gospel of St. John, chapter 17, verse 12, the great Judas of these end times, who is now seated inside the Vatican on the chair of the anti-Pope. And Obama is the man of lawlessness spoken of in the second book of Thessalonians, chapter 2, who is now seated inside the White House on the seat of the Antichrist in the Obama nation of desolation. For indeed, Francis and Obama are united as one in the spirit of the Antichrist. And if you are waiting for the two witnesses, spoken about in the book of Revelations chapter 11. You need not look any further. They are here who are Petrus Romanus and his wife Mary Romanus. As you read through chapter 11 of Revelations, in verse 7 you read, And when they have finished their testimony, the beast that ascends from the bottomless pit will make war upon them and conquer them and will kill them. Now, this is not a physical death that is being referred to. And their testimony has been here for quite some time now. You can view the real interpretation of chapter 11 of Revelations in the link that is being posted in the description box below. It would be only my responsibility to inform the viewers the fact that Jesus has removed his lampstand from all of the so-called churches and religious institutions over the face of the earth and his two witnesses are his two lampstands and two olive branches extending his mercy to the entire face of the earth through his online testimony. The testimony is the formula of salvation. It is because Jesus has indeed now come and gone as a thief in the night that the abomination of desolation spoken of in Daniel chapter 11 verse 31 is now set up in all the nameable religious institutions on the face of the earth. Have you not read in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 24 verses 15 where Jesus says, so when you see the desolating sacrilege spoken of by the prophet Daniel standing in the holy place. So now it is time to read and understand for those who consider themselves to be Christians. This means that the real presence of Jesus Christ the Lord and the true Holy Spirit has been removed from all of the churches. In his mercy, you can now experience the real presence and the true Holy Spirit simply by reading this website, testimonyofthetwowitnesses.com. Here you can now receive an apostolic blessing and become blessed beyond belief. The testimony of the two witnesses is a written document that is so extensive that if you printed it out, it would, be, it would be more than a thousand pages long. The testimony is mentioned about in the book of Revelations in chapter 11. And it is a flying scroll spoken about in the book of Zechariah chapter 5. So this is the end times and this era is coming to a rapid and swift end. So, I would like to tell you some facts. 
in the book of Revelations, chapter 13, verses 17, you read, No one can buy or sell unless he has the mark, mark of the beast, that is. Some people believe that the mark of the beast was something that people could only receive by knowingly choosing to receive it. This may be true concerning the physical mark. People can obviously choose whether or not they want the implanted microchip. And yet Jesus has given quite a different explanation for the spiritual mark of the beast in his testimony. On December 25th, 2012, everybody on the face of the earth, save the two witnesses and children below the age of reason, received the mark of the beast. When Jesus came like a thief in the night and gave everyone the mark of the beast. So, Jesus has explained how people receive the spiritual mark of the beast in the following words. I quote, They bought the lice from the pulpit and sold their souls in doing so. In other words, they gave money to the churches to be sold the lie that they were saved. In doing so, they fulfilled the words in the Bible where it speaks about buying and selling and the mark of the beast. So, as you receive the mark of the beast, everyone lost their souls and their free wills and their guardian angel who guard their souls. But the members of the faithful remnant have now received their souls and we have received our guardian angel back through the use of the blessed holy water. Now on December 25th, 2015, most of them who have rejected the testimony or whoever has gone to receive the communion from the churches have now received a new mark that is the mark of Cain. This means that you have now received your soul back but only with the full torments of hell along with it. It is in a spiritual level now which will soon have its physical manifestations. The CERN event happened on September 23rd, 2015. Do you want to know what is that? The Illuminati has opened the CERN portal to the abyss of hell and all the demons are now unleashed upon the entire face of the earth. And now you are getting filled to the brim with demons as each day passes on. Uncomfortable as it may seem, it is the truth. And you can experience relief only by using the blessed holy water. I would like to read a few words from God the Almighty, Eternal Father in Heaven, your Creator, that He is revealed through His two witnesses. I quote, God the Almighty, Eternal Father in Heaven said, Which of you will partake of the food? that is being offered to your souls. You are blind people and darkness covers your intellects because you have turned away from me, the Lord your God. You stumble in the darkness, all of you, because none of you have the light. You spurn my two witnesses as you spurn my son Jesus. You spurn the life I offer to your souls through forgiveness of your sins. But what is the other part? Do I just forgive you and then you continue on in offending me? Learn my ways once again, you foolish people. Turn back from following the ways of man and learn from my son Jesus. Learn about what we are asking you to do. This message was given on December 16th, 2012.
if you are having resistance to what you are hearing it is only normal because it is a demon that is protesting within you for us as members of the faithful remnant these are just refreshing truths that we are sharing that we have understood and experienced over the past few months and jesus has already revealed through his two witnesses that this era is coming to a rapid and swift end on or before the may 20th 2019 believe it or not this is an unchangeable immutable truth revealed from heaven so now you have a choice you can choose to turn to your personal demons and reject this olive branch of mercy being extended by the most high true god or you can spend 15 minutes of your time to read the testimony and do what is necessary to spend your eternity with jesus christ the lord the most high true god you cannot be for the world and for jesus you have to choose one all you need to do is go to www.testimonyofthetwowitnesses.com go to our daily prayers page in the left hand side of the home page pray the burning bush prayer from your heart repent of all of your sins and go to the holy water and sacraments page which is on the left hand side of the home page get the blessed holy water with faith and trust me it will remove the dark veil that has covered your intellects and you will experience true peace and true joy that only comes from the true holy spirit then contact the only true vicar and representative of jesus christ the lord on earth petrus romanus in his email id his email id is petrus.romanus.mail@gmail.com i will put in these instructions in the description box below this is not a business and we are not doing this for money like the other so called churches as eternal salvation does not cost you money all you need to do is set aside some of your time for your creator who loves you and is waiting for you to turn back to him saying a yes so that he can free you from the bondage of the enemy time is ticking so repent and do what is necessary